We're going to narrow our view just a little bit. Some of the low lying areas of Hampton Roads, the rain was just too much for the drainage. And of course, we all know that happens a lot around here. 10 on your side's Jason Marks is live in Norfolk tonight. Jason, some people were not heeding those warnings about staying out of the high water when it rains. Yeah, Katie, we saw several cars uh, get picked up by tow trucks this afternoon here in Norfolk. I want to give you a live look of what's going on right now. You're looking at the intersection of Tidewater Drive and Virginia Beach Boulevard, and as you can see, the water is down considerably as to where it was a couple hours ago. Now, I want to uh, turn back time a little bit and show you what things look like when that storm, just after that storm, the earlier storm came through, and you can see it really flooded the streets here at this intersection. As you mentioned, Katie, uh, it made for very tough going for the afternoon commute as people were coming through. Good news in all of this is that it's the day after Christmas and we didn't have that many people on the roads. A, a normal day, a typical day, we would have had much more during rush hour. So that was the bright side, but we did see several cars get stuck uh, as that water came down. We talked with one resident who lives right across the street who says the water comes up every single time it rains and he didn't know if it was ever going to stop. Oh, it was crazy. I never expected to see anything like that after after a beautiful day we had yesterday. Um, we come into this. It was, I don't know, it kind of caught us off guard for real. Yeah, and take a look at this. This is the Jordan Newby Public Library on Park Avenue where we uh, found the door shut closed for the, after the storm. Now, the problem here was not flooding come from the outside. It was actually flooding coming from the inside. The high water made the sewage back up and you can see the toilets overflowed making a, a really a smelly cleanup for workers there and they were half they had to uh, shut down the doors because of the storm. Now uh, coming up tonight at six we did talk with a couple drivers who got stuck in the high water from today's storm. We'll have that for you coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at six but for now that's the latest here on a rainy Norfolk day. Now back to you guys.